Every year around Christmas time, the Northwestern Railway has a special holiday break in out and about. The engines take turns pulling it with their passenger trains. What makes this brake dance so special is what's inside of it. At the stations, volunteer workers dress as Santa Claus come out of the brake van and greet all the children. Then he sits down and listens to what the children want for Christmas. Their costume isn't the best, but the kids don't seem to mind. Everyone enjoys seeing the brake van behind the trains because they know that Santa is out making kids' days. No one enjoys pulling the brake van more than Thomas. He loves to see the smiles on kids' faces as they line up to see Santa. That, and it makes up for having to wear a snowplow during the holidays. The snow was heavy this year, and it was worrying Thomas's crew. This snow is hard to see through, said his driver. That, and it's hard to push through, added the fireman. But Thomas was determined to carry on. Think about it, guys, he told them. Only two more days. It'll be our turn to pull the Christmas brake van. That, of course, made them feel better, as they enjoyed a pull it, too. The next morning, Sir Topham Hatt came to the sheds with some bad news. Due to the weather conditions, there will be no trains running tomorrow, he said. But sir, exclaimed Thomas, tomorrow's the day I'm supposed to pull the Christmas brake van. I'm sorry, Thomas, said Sir Topham Hatt, but it's just too dangerous to be out tomorrow. I know how important it is to you, but I truly am sorry. This made Thomas very sad. Look on the bright side, Thomas, said his driver. At least you get a day off. Thomas tried to be happy, but it just wasn't working. Gordon wasn't helping the situation either. He was pulling the Christmas break van that day with the express. That must be horrible, not getting to pull the brake band and having to wear that snowplow? Talk about bad luck. He laughed and talked off. As Gordon left, Thomas dreadfully puffed out onto the turntable. Why did this happen? He thought as he puffed to his branch line. He couldn't get the brake band off of his mind all day. It was starting to mess with his determination. I all of a sudden don't feel so Christmassy anymore, he thought to himself. By the time he got to the third station, he felt miserable. He was about to give up, just as Percy puffed up alongside him. Percy? said Thomas. What are you doing here? You're about to find out, he said. I think you'll be happy. Sir Topham Hatt climbed down from Percy's cab. Gordon is stuck in a snowdrift, he said. Since you're the only engine with a snowplow, I need you to help him out and then clear the line ahead. Percy will run your branch line while you're away. It's the only way for Santa to reach the children at the station. I'll do it! Thank you, sir! And before he could change his mind, Thomas set off to the rescue as fast as he could. He headed down the main line, and sure enough, there was Gordon, stranded. Oh, the indignity. He's so busy froze in the cold snow. Thomas pulled the coaches back first, then pulled Gordon out of the drift. Then he was coupled to the front of the train, and they were ready to go.
they arrived safe and sound at the station. Everyone gave Thomas three cheers, and Santa got out to thank him. Ho, 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 he bellowed. Thank you, Thomas. You saved Christmas. This is the best time I pulled the Christmas break man ever, Thomas shouted with joy. And he joined the carolers at the station as they sung his favorite Christmas songs. The next day, Thomas enjoyed his day off. He was very happy with himself. Gordon, on the other hand, asked his crew if they could look into getting a snowplow for him, as he doesn't think snowplows are silly anymore. <laughs>